talk with you for a few minutes this morning. Please give them, give them your undivided attention and your respect. Thank you. Let me introduce myself. My name is Zaki Baruti. And Zaki Baruti is a African name, a cultural name that I chose in 1980. It simply means charitable teacher. By profession, I was an educator for about 33 years in the East St. Louis public school system. And as a teacher, I had a great love for my students. My love for my students translated into me taking some students with me like to the country of Jamaica and then taking some other students all the way to, uh, over the ocean to a country in Africa called Senegal. That was my love for you because I'm a grandfather and I'm a father. And as a grandfather, I love my grandchildren. And as a father, I love my children. So it's important that not only should I love my family, I should love everybody's family, right? And we should have a, a love fest among each other. At the same time, while we're here, and we, 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 we're reaching out to those of you who are really intelligent, which we know all of you, to help us in a project that we say that we are have undertaken for the sake of our community. And that project is a project that's called Pull Up Your Pants and Help Pull Up Your Community. Brother Michael Spud Johnson. He has VIP Productions. Give him a round of applause. Thank you. Uh, oh, we have your studio. We have your records. We've been doing it for uh, about 13 years. I want all the attention. The tail, I got it. It came in with all these goods. I won't get attention. They start shooting. Give me my back. I ain't want no more attention. Shot me my neck. I don't want no more attention. Shot me through my hip ball. I'm talking about they just giving me all the attention that I was seeking was all wrapped up in that moment. All the attention that I wanted that I don't want no more was given to me. Now, I had to make a mercy call to God. Cause now, the dude give me attention, he still want to keep giving me attention. I don't want no more. <laughs> but he keep giving me this attention that I don't want. So now I'm asking God, please God, Leave. can you uh, take the attention that I'm looking for away from me? Cause I don't want no more, it's hurt. Eric Miller, I'll let him share a little bit about himself and then we'll go forward. Eric Miller, give him a round of applause.
Hey, what's up, OG? Give me five. As soon as you walk away, them the same ones talking about screwing you in your butt while you're laughing. How they say? You getting tricked. All the artists you see going up there, yeah. Uh-huh. All right, yeah. Them the same one they using to take the whole community. Oh, it's easy to get, get you out of the community. Come on, you made it, man. Use a gang banger, use a drug dealer. It's easy to get you up there and you sell out. They're gonna tell you how to dress. They're gonna tell you how to what to rap about. And you're gonna do it because you want the money, because you ain't got nothing no how. So Lil Wayne got paid real good before the law decided to take him out and put him head down for a year. He got paid real good. He did what he wanted to do. Get you brother sad. Think it's cool. The West Side. Oh man. <laughs> Don't even know what it means when you say West Side. Go Google Tupac and Bob, the last interview. He'll tell you what West Side is. Stands for walk, not west side. Walk. He said he'll stop throwing it up when all of us come together and stop banging. Now, for those of you who say you don't help us, because we need you to spread the message, right? It won't be done. Our community won't change unless you be the change agent. Y'all understand that? And let me give you one other point that y'all should study. Kenny Boy just said, go on to Google. Okay, but if you go in the library, if you study what Dr. King did, you know how Dr. King made a lot of changes? It was young people your age that was doing the protest because they saw something wrong. So let's give a lot of applause. Well, brother, let me brother, yes. 59 years old, 40 years ago, came up to the Black Keystone Nation. The time that I was involved with the Black Keystone Nation, there was a lot of speaking in the world. We had affiliations, associations, cities all around the world. When I was 19 years old, about 19 years old, I went back to being an all-star basketball player. I started seeing people around me get kids. It blowed up real bad. Think about this now. Three and four years old. And you walk around there, you spend this inside. Everybody's saying, it's a bad, it's a bad. So then they, they following about around you, and you got little baby girls <coughs> trying to be do what you do. See, so it's, it's a chain reaction. What it is, it's a symptom of something called mental side. When I was 17 years old, one of my mentors, a psychologist who's deceased now, Dr. Bobby Wright, told me, but what we're going to have to face is mental side. Reverend Elson A. McCall from Star Grace Church. Right. To uh, my uh, Christian brothers and sisters, I say, my Christian brothers, I'm sorry, no sister, Christian brothers, I say praise the Lord. Praise to uh, my uh, Muslim brothers, I say as alaykum. My name is Salam. To my Afrocentric black nationalists, I say her body got it. Missouri body got it. Now we're way check. And then to my brothers on the street. What's up? 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 Yeah, um, I'm also, I work with Zaki and other organizations, and one of the things I'm also the prison coordinator. So I go all over the state of Missouri, uh, visiting brothers uh, and sisters in, in our state prisons. And what the brothers have shared with you is absolutely correct. Now, who all heard that uh, the Saggy came from prison? Who all heard that? Uh huh. And you all, I think they told you all that the Saggy meant that if you put your pants down, that was you daring somebody to stick you in your backside. You daring. You tough, you're in prison, and you pull your pants down, and you daring them. That's what they said that they, that came from. Is that what you all heard? Who heard that? Raise your hand. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That's true. Let me, let me tell you that is a misnomer. It's not daring somebody. They make you walk around like that because they say you are one of the ones who go around getting done like that. Mm -hmm. So you really been, yeah, it's reversed. It's really, you really been tricked. 